Hey y'all, Kelsey with Kelsey Scrubs Boutique. Welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be doing the patterned pencil tumbler, which I've never really done before. But let me tell you guys, I used a template from lbcreates.com and it made this process so, so easy. So I cannot wait to show you guys this. Of course, everything that I used in this video will be listed in the description box below, along with our new KSB community over competition group. Let's get started. We're going to start off in silhouette by dragging our template in, which we purchased from lbcreates.com. And we're also going to be cutting our floral pattern with this. Now I did have to manipulate my lines a little bit because my silhouette was being super weird. So I just made a one inch um, white square and then my machine had no issue cutting it out. We're using the 24 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia today. It has been sanded and washed and done and then spray painted white. Now I took my template and I wrapped it around the cup and then I took some painter's tape and I taped it in the middle on both the top and the bottom. And this is just going to ensure that whenever I wrap my template around that it is going to be secure all the way around the cup and that there's really no guesswork um, later on. Now once the template is placed on there, you're going to remove the very top piece and the very bottom piece so that we can spray paint the black and the pink. Now I am going to be using the epoxy method to adhere my pink and my black glitter. And then I'm going to be using Mod Podge and acrylic paint for my silver and my gold. Now this was a super big learning process for me. So once I did my pink glitter, I did remove the um, other pieces, the silver and the gold piece, just because I did not want my epoxy to completely dry. I did use Fast Set from CC DIY, so I didn't want to take any chances. Also, please learn from my mistakes. I made a boo-boo here. So I went ahead right in with my acrylic Mod Podge mixture to do my silver. Well, my epoxy had not completely dried yet, so I had to go back later with Mod Podge and touch my pink up. So it's probably best to wait an hour if you're using any type of fast set epoxy so that you don't have to go back and fix your mistakes. So of course, after I did my silver, I did go ahead and put the cup up and I waited an hour before I went into my gold. Now, when I did my gold, I did do two coats of this because I felt like my coverage was not great. So I did go back over the gold for a second coat of glitter. Once all of my glitter was placed, I took an extra brush and I brushed off any excess glitter that was on the black glitter that I had. And also I didn't have any extra glitter on my pink, but if you have some, go ahead and use the brush there as well. Once I did that, I did remove my template where my pattern is going to go. And then I took my brush and kind of brushed off any glitter that may be on there. And then I sprayed it twice with two times clear Rust-Oleum gloss. Now that we have our pattern, we're going to remove all the excess pieces that we do not need and we are going to place these one by one. Now you wanna make sure that your first one is as straight as you can get it because that's really gonna set up the uh, rest of them. So once I got the first one on there, the rest of these were super, super easy, and I was not too concerned with completely lining them up since we are going to be doing the vinyl lines later. I applied two coats of Fast Set from Counter Culture DIY, and then it was time for our sanding. So I went in and I sanded the top rim and the bottom, and then of course checked the rest of the cup to see if it needed any sanding. 
And then I cleaned it off with some alcohol and a coffee filter. Now my vinyl strips I cut out with my silhouette using a silver vinyl and a gold vinyl. And I cut them 11.5 wide by 0 0.80 in height. And they ended up being the absolute perfect size for this 24 ounce plump. Now, when I went to do the triangle pieces, I preferred not to overlap my vinyl, but it is personal preference. Um, but it was quite easy to just cut on the outside or the inside to make sure that they did not completely overlap. And then, of course, your uh, pieces going down the middle to hide the seams from the pattern. Here is the finished tumbler. I did one more coat of Fast Set and one coat of Artist Resin and we were finished. If you liked this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.